Hi, welcome to step four in our 21 steps to Google Ads optimization. Today we're talking about negative keywords. Now don't tune away yet. Stay tuned till the end and I'll show you how to get a list that we've already put together that you can use in your own business. Hi, I'm Mike Mancini with ppcvideotraining.com. Thanks so much for joining us on our 21 steps to Google Ads optimization. Now for those of you that have been following me, you have seen my negative uh, keyword series or videos because I have done a lot of them. And the reason is, I can't stress it enough, negative keywords can break your account. It can break it in half. Uh, when people come to us and work with us, they say, well, you know what, we just we tried Google Ads or Google AdWords before and it just doesn't work. The first thing that we do is we go and look in their search terms and realize, well, it doesn't work because you don't have any negative keywords added and you have just wasted all of your money. Now, of course, we don't say it like that, but you get our point. We have a whole negative keyword series that we've done, where they are, how to find them, so on and so forth. You can go check that out. I'm gonna put a link down below in the description so you can go right to the first video and check those out if you want on your own. In this one, what I'm gonna do today is give you just a very quick version of what those negative keywords are, how to find them, how to add them, and just what they can do to your campaign, just how much they can cost you. All right, let's get started. All right, so I want you to go into your campaign and I want you to click on the campaign that you're working in and then go and click on keywords. Once you've clicked on keywords, I want you to click on search terms. So what these are, these search terms are actual terms that people typed in when they went to Google and your ads happen to show up when they typed in these terms. Now, if you have never done this, you may be shocked and I wanna give you just a heads up. Don't think of it about as how much money you've wasted. Think about how much money you're saving moving forward. This is a campaign, um, we actually rebuilt this one but I'm gonna show you how to do it in this campaign because it's a very good example. This is a spa or hot tub removal repair business in Las Vegas, Nevada. If you have never added these or it's been a long time, I want you to go up here and I want you to change this date here and change it to all time. Now, when you're in here, you can sort by impressions, you can sort by clicks, whatever you want to do. But I want you to go in and I want you to look at the search terms and take a close look at those. Now, the reason why we're taking a look at this campaign is there have been a lot of negative keywords added, but there was one in particular that had been missed for quite some time, and that is called a lazy spa. Now, for those of you uh, who don't know, and I didn't know at the time either, a lazy spa is basically an inflatable hot tub. So you blow it up, it's like a big pool for kids that you throw in the backyard, but it's for a hot tub. You blow it up, fill it with water, and it becomes a portable or inflatable hot tub. This company does not deal with those or have anything to do with them. But what has happened is, somebody has typed in lazy spa Vegas, and their ads have come up, and they've been clicked 61 times, costing them $94.18. Lazy, lazy with the space in between Spa Vegas, Lazy Spa Vegas, Lazy Spa Vegas, under a different ad group it showed, Lazy Spa Vegas cheapest, so on and so forth. All of these that are checked, and I went through and did this to save time, are keywords that we don't want in the campaign. Now why? Because we don't sell them. We have nothing to do with them. They don't want, they don't want these clicks costing them money. Another big one is your competitors. If you've been running a campaign any time at all and you have not gone through your uh, competitor list and added them to your uh, campaign, I'm sure you've probably gotten calls saying, hey, is this ABC company? And you're like, no, this is XYZ. Oh, sorry, I got the wrong number. And that is happening more and more. We used to have clients that say, no, we want our ads to come up when somebody searches for a competitor. So if somebody searched for ABC company, XYZ company's ad would show up at the same time and try and entice that person to call. The problem is, and that worked for a while. Now over time, what had happened was they started, people would call and these guys were amazing salespeople and they'd say, hi, can we help you? And they're like, oh, we were looking for a different company. Well, you know what, what are you looking for? We can help you out. And we also have a, a price match guarantee or whatever it might be. And they would get a lot of business that way. But over time, people have started just typing in ABC company, not looking at the ads they're clicking or not looking at the phone number, calling it, 
and calling the wrong number. And it's just more and more of wrong numbers or people calling because their service technician didn't show up or their orders haven't shipped or are late. And they were just basically answering the phones for their competitors, which with business that they were never gonna get. So take a look at those. Um, I would suggest you're gonna have a lot of competitors probably in here, um, add those. Here's how you add them quickly. And I'll show you a couple of ways to do this. You can check off every single one or every single term that you don't want in there. And then you can just go right up to the top, click add as negative keyword. You can probably add them right to your campaign. Brackets around here will say, if anybody types in lazy spa Vegas, that exact keyword, it makes sure our ads will not show up. Add those to your campaign and you can scroll all the way down to the bottom and you can click on save. And you can see it's got excluded next to all of those. Now, why did we do that? Well, you saw how many, there were 97 keywords that we had actually selected to add to our negative keywords. I added up the cost for all of those keywords and it came down to $1,279 had been wasted on those keywords that we don't want in the first place. Now, if this is the first time you're going through, once again, don't freak out. You know, it, it's one of those things where, like I said, don't worry about how much money you've wasted. Think about how much money you're saving in the future. Now, if you have a list of negative keywords, so maybe you went and copied all of those, or you have a list of your competitors, you can just go to negative keywords. You can click on the plus button and you can just add, add them to the campaign, select the campaign that you're working on here and just add all of those negative keywords there and then click on save and you can do it that way as well. Once you get done with that, add it all up. Let us know in the comments below. You know, nobody's gonna judge you. We just wanna show that there's a, a lot of people make this mistake and it's okay because you're here to learn. So go ahead and let us know in the comment below how many keyword terms you found that were wasting your budget. If you really don't care, please, by all means, Put the amount in there as well. Let us know. We just want you to know that you're not alone. All right, so we said that we'd tell you how to get our negative keyword list. We have actually put together a list of over 2,300 negative keywords that you can have for free. Now this list is uh, broken down by geography. It's broken down by keywords that you don't want, like cheap, inexpensive, cheapest, those types of keywords. It's broken down by swear words, you would be shocked at how often we find swear words. People will type something with a swear word into a campaign. Literally 2,300 keywords. I think it's broken over 25 different lists. Down below in the description, you should see a link. It should say negative keyword list or something like that. That will take you to our YouTube video where you can watch it. It'll show you how to use it and there's a download link for it there. So if you're not one of our subscribers, please make sure you click the big red subscribe button next to here and please like and share this video with anyone else that might find it helpful. And if you or someone else you know might be in need of Google ad services, please let us know, we'd love to help. Thanks so much, see you next time.